Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to use the mask generator in Magic's Movie Edit Pro 2019. So the first thing we'll do is open up our web browser and we'll go and download these video clips. I'm going to put them in the YouTube description. So we've got this text here called subscribe. It's black and white and the text is outlined in black so this will be our mask. So we'll click free and then we'll click download 1920 by 1080. So we'll download that one and we're going to download two other video clips. So I'll put all the links to the in the YouTube description. We've got these like floating boxes. We'll click 1920 by 1080 on this one and we'll download one more as well as an example. So we've got three video clips here, 1920 by 1080. So we'll open up this folder and we we'll just drag and drop these clips into here. And then we'll open up Magic's Movie Edit Pro. close down the web browser so we'll start it off at 19 uh, 1920 by 1080 29 frames a second but magics might adjust that for us so the first thing I'll do is drag in the subscribe text so here's the subscribe text and it's going to tell me that I need to change the frame rate so I'll adjust it and I'm dragging it onto the second part of the timeline right not the first the second part here so if we scrub through we'll see that we've got this text subscribe and what we want to do is use that text this black and white text as a mask. So the next thing we'll do is drag in one of our example text. So let's drag in these squares. So now we'll see the text like this, but we won't see the squares because the, the stacking layer works in the opposite direction. So whatever's below will always be shown first. So we'll click on this text here and we'll go to the effects and we'll go to the mask generator, which is here. And then we'll click apply. Now when we click apply, we don't really need to do anything because the settings are already set up. Because it's a black and white image, it will work seamlessly. So as we scrub through now, we can see the text gets illuminated by this, this video clip that sits above it. So if I were to delete that video clip and scrub through, you just see it's black and white. And if I take the other video clip, let's say, uh, where is this? This octagons and drag and drop that one in. Now th this black and white text is be behaving like a mask and it's masking the, the video clip above it. So here you can see the text gets illuminated this way. So this might seem really, really basic and quite simple and it is in effect quite simple, but you could create this text animation using something like Blender, 3D software. You could do some sort of animation in black and white. You can go and create something in uh, GIMP, for example. It doesn't have to be animated. It could just be some text in GIMP, some black and white text. And then you could use this same mask technique to mask over the text and have a video clip playing in between. And you can get some nice colors and some animation, some movement in there inside your text. So that's really how I use the mask generator using uh, Magic's Movie Edit Pro Premium 2019. That's the version I'm using right now. So I thought I'd show you how to do this. I'm going to be doing quite a few different basic tutorials on Magic because I see there's not very many on YouTube. Uh, so I thought I'd do some just to help you guys out. Okay, so that's how you use the mask generator in Magic's Movie Edit Pro 2019. Let's minimize this, we'll close this, and I look forward to seeing you in the next DCP web tutorial.